about here? What do you think? Shall we?
San Diego, you have gone out on a Friday night, on a Friday night, you went out just like we're supposed to as grown-up human beings to go out on a Friday night and that's why it's so harrowing because <laughs> there's so many of us out on a Friday night, you've done it, you made it here, we're so grateful. We're so, so grateful, and, and, and honestly, we're, we're in awe of you. And in honor of this um, tremendous achievement of yours, and I know what you're thinking, well, I mean, you went out too, but no, we did not. We were already out. We just stayed out. It's very different, it's so much easier. No, y'all are the heroes. And in honor of your accomplishment, we would like to dedicate our only number with the title, Going Out, 
to you. I sense that you are underwhelmed. You're like, feeling. I went out on a Friday freaking night. And all you're gonna do is play a song called Going Out? No, don't worry. It gets better. This number called Going Out happens to be our only instrumental with vocals. You're welcome. That's how in all of you we are. From us to you, here's going out. XOXO, love Nickel Creek. Thank you. 
be who we played like we were to be at close to ring sure of down the shots before that was me preaching communion even as i prayed for space until it was grand in such profusion and i've about lost my taste for written saying what i'm doing while what i'm really doing keeps me from doing what i say
Did you know her middle name is Ulrika? That's Sarah Watkins.
half pilot picker. Upped our production value on this tour. I hope you appreciate pyrotechnics. Say what? They're still gonna find a way to win the World Series.
old North County boy, he's a stranger to no one. Singing that over there on the guitar, that's my brother, that's Sean Watkins. We'll get there, I promise. Noted. But first, we would like to address uh, a portion of relationships that we feel has been underrepresented, songwriting-wise. Uh, perhaps, perhaps underrepresented. There's, there's, of course, lots of relationship songs. That's, that's basically everything. Um, but a lot of them are about the beginning of the relationship, which is so nice. I it's love you, uh, you're perfect. Yeah. Let's do this right now. And, and of course, fast forward, uh, there's, there's, there are arguably the most songs about the, the end of the relationship, when the helicopter comes and takes one of you away. Actually extricated from the relationship. Yeah. It turns out, I hate you. And I'm you leaving right now. But there are not a lot of songs we feel about the, the middle of relationships, the relationship part of the relationship. That messy middle section where you go on vacations together, fun vacations. And you go to holidays, to family together, and uh, all of the wonderful life that happens, and all of the pettiness. This is a song about the pettiness. Dish it out with a measure of pride You got help on if they cross one of your lines I don't need you to redraw yourself, honey And I don't need you to pretend or deny But I would love it if you just once let it slide My least favorite place to all 
so gently I'll sing me a song in thy praise. My Mary's asleep by thy murmuring stream. So flow gently, sweet river, disturb not her dream.
sorry The phone must be mine I wish you all the best of luck and Finding somebody more like you You said you loved me always truly Well I must have changed Cause you don't need me like you used to I hope you find somebody more fog rolling in off the coast. <laughs> A little chill in the air. Makes you want to gather around the, the campfire and, uh, you know, tell some quieter stories, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah like Chris going to light, light the, uh, do you need? Light me a little. Yeah, there you know, you go. Need some help. <coughs> Careful. A little smoky. <laughs> We learned that smoke follows mandolin players. Yeah. As the saying goes. Like, where are my Cub Scouts at? Those things that we can't tell us to whom we tell everything. They keep us up at night. Over. 
So I found out a working family I tried to keep up between the
Jeff Picker on the bass. And the elephant to our corner. Oh man, it feels good to play San Diego. We were all born here. And uh, it's kind of a cool time. In fact, we were all birthed by the same doctor. Yes. And Sean and I were birthed by the same woman as well. Yeah. But I suppose the doctor didn't do much. It was the same dude who pulled us out. Yeah. 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 That's and how it our works. And folks right? didn't even know each other at that point. That's how you know you're going to be in a string band. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about that, folks. <clears throat> I, I'm, I'm curious, how many of you guys remember when the rapture almost happened back in 2011? Remember that? Quite a close call. Um, but um, I, I was fascinated with this, this preacher who was putting up all these billboards, spending millions and millions of dollars advertising. Um, you know, what he, he firmly believed in good faith to be uh, to be the end of end of times, uh, even though the Bible says that no one will know it, he figured he cracked the code, and um, and uh, I, I'd seen billboards all around this, this neighborhood of Los Angeles where I was living at the time that just said May twenty first is Judgment Day, and um, and I, I saw one. I was driving around. It was like two o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon. Coming back, I'm getting my second cup of coffee from uh, Intelligentsia at the time, which was where I frequented um, my coffee. Anyway, uh, I saw this sign, May 21st of Judgment Day, and I, I thought to myself, I was like at a stoplight, and <clears throat> I thought, shoot, that is tomorrow. <laughs> Snuck up on me like an anniversary or a birthday, you should remember. I was on the fence at best as to whether... <laughs> This is all going to go down. But I thought to myself, just in case, you know, um, I, 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 what do I love to do the most? It's a song. I love, to, I love to sit down and write a song. So I went home, sat on my couch, and I tried to imagine what sort of song this preacher might write if he were a bluegrass guitar player. And this is my best guess.
Hallelujah, folks. I'm sure you've been following, uh, following this. The government is, is decommissioning lighthouses. Do you know why they're decommissioning lighthouses? They said, GPS, 
Ships have it too. But we know how that goes. We have it. We have it on us. It'll be like treacherous rocks ahead. You are still on the best route. <laughs> glug, glug, glug. GPS. That's not what we need. We need something strong, sturdy, made of brick or something, tall, true, with a light at the top that rotates. I say. But that's not what we're going to get. We're going to get GPS on ships. There's a silver lining, however, and it's bright. The government, in its infinite fiscal wisdom, is auctioning these newly decommissioned lighthouses off. Pennies on the dollar, y'all. There has never been a better time in our lives to slide on into that first lighthouse. Oh, I know you've got your eye on one. The Point Loma Lighthouse, maybe? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? We'll just go to like eBay slash newly decommissioned lighthouse.gov or whatever and get you one. Nah, it's not on Amazon, dude. And when you do slide, on into that first lighthouse. Give your boy a call. Yeah, or indeed, any member of the Lighthouse Preservation Society. The Nickel Creek Lighthouse Preservation Society. We stand by. We are standing by. Call. We're ready to help. This is one small area in which we can be of service. That or like if you need something string banded at. <laughs> We can help you take care of your new lighthouse, what it, what it needs, what it wants, more importantly. It's hopes and dreams, trauma that it's suffered. <laughs> Give us a call. Give your boy a call. Because I am a freaking lighthouse.
next day My keeper found her washed up on the shore He kissed her cold face And then they'd be together soon, he swore I saw him crying I watched as he buried her in the sand and then he climbed my tower And the 
Was it started in the hand Like the kick and get to start it in the hand Or with the song John John Papa The creep and dance with the bottle to the hand Young lovers and they are not sleeping Young lovers in the hand Or with this gun turned on Papa The creep and dance with the bottle to the hand
Chocolate Creek, this is from the foxes on the town hall. San Diego show ever. This is just this has just been a, a wonderful night. Thank you everybody at Brady Shelf for, uh, for having us and being so welcoming today.
This place is magic. This place is magic. It deserves a toast. But whatever shall we toast with, Sarah? We should, we should toast with a little scotch. Yes. And just, just take a little, little nibble of dark chocolate. Not too dark. Thank you again, y'all. Uh, to be to be 34 years into this band and to still be getting to play for an audience like y'all is a total dream come true. Is that the finale? Is it happening back there? Is it rad? Sounds like it's done now. We'll <laughs> dedicate this last song uh, to each and every one of you. I'm looking out in the crowd, seeing people I've been seeing in shows for the entire 34 years. And uh, we are still doing this because y'all allow us to keep doing it. And we feel very, very lucky. Thank you again.
with a sneak attack, son But I promise, honey, I can make the coffee strong enough to get us to the wine Yeah, oh Circling around Don't you hold 